I here. think I'm not quite sure this would necessarily be her local, although maybe it would. I think there probably be, would have been pub, aren't there pubs on Acre Lane that would have been close. I used to drink in the Hope and Anchor, right? Which is a sort of bigger. Well, maybe that's why she was avoiding it. You were in there, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It, it was about the same time. It was a bit noisy in there. It would about the same time. <laughs> it would have been. Oh, look out in there. Oh, can I'm you imagine? Yeah, up the road. Thought, oh, there's, a, there's a load of young Oxbridge types who think they're really cool because they're drinking they're Brixton, Brixton. Yeah. and they're being a bit loud. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably fair so enough. So we're ending, we're ending in this pub because you were in another pub in 1990. <laughs> yeah, any, any pub I would didn't for, for yeah. frequent would be a better pub. That's very good. So I do have a. I, so I you've skid in the game. So I influence the topography of the novel yeah, just by your very presence. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's great. And you and you did the same with your interest in a haberdashery. Uh, with my interest in haberdashery. Oh no, you by walking past her house every day. Well, I was lived around the corner from her. She in, was. Uh, yeah. In, uh, she said, "Oh, that dark-haired theatrical type. He'd be good for a <laughs> dark-haired <laughs> for a novel." <laughs> The man who seems to be waiting for a tram that never comes. 